I am so sick and tired of the Stipe Miocic fans saying things in my comment section like the Stipe hate. I'm tired of the Stipe hate. I don't want to hear it anymore. It's getting old, man. Or you're saying Stipe is not known outside of the MMA hardcore fan base, man. That's just wrong. How could you possibly say that about Stipe, man? Fuck that. And I cannot stand the idea of Stipe Miocic fighting John Jones next year when we already are going to have an interim title holder like Aspinall or Pavlovich. I cannot stand that the UFC is going to book that fight. All right. And why are they going to book that fight? Because John Jones doesn't want to take a risk. He doesn't want to fight one of these up and coming killers. He wants to preserve his legacy. He is 100% avoiding Aspinall or Pavlovich, which is good for his legacy. But Stipe Miocic is just the last guy I want to see fight at this point. I could give less of a damn about Stipe. Stipe Miocic is irrelevant outside of the hardcore MMA fan base. Okay? That is just an inarguable fact. You cannot dispute that. A household name is Muhammad Ali. A household name is Conor McGregor. And he's not even as big as Muhammad Ali with the older generations. Someone like Derek Jeter is known. Someone like Michael Phelps, right? LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony. Like these people have names, all right? I'm just naming athletes at this point. Usain Bolt, Michael Phelps, whatnot. Stipe Miocic. Don't get it twisted, man. Just because he was the heavyweight champ and that means something to me and that means something to the people that are watching this video doesn't mean that anybody outside of the people that consistently watch MMA know who he is. So stop trying to pretend like Stipe is some kind of a big deal, okay? Stop trying to pretend like John Jones fighting Stipe Miocic is going to get the casual fans booming and talking about the fight. Stipe Miocic. I just had some guy comment on the video that I posted earlier today that like saying that no one knows who Stipe is outside of hardcore MMA fans is foolish and that he's big in Ohio, that even old people know him in Ohio and he's a hero there. Okay, great. I'm talking about outside of Ohio. <laughs> he ain't a big... He, oh my gosh, man. You guys think he's... <laughs> outside of Ohio, brother. Nobody. Nobody knows who he is. Go ask someone about Stipe Miocic in Dagestan. They'll fucking push you out of their way. <laughs> Get out of here, son. Why are you wasting my time? Go ask someone about Stipe in China. They're going to look at you like you're a fucking... What the heck? the hell are you saying, buddy? I know who LeBron is. I don't know who Stipe is. Ask someone about Stipe in Ohio. Yeah, of course. Ohio, dude. There's like a couple thousand people there. <laughs> I know. There's more than a couple of thousand in Ohio, bro. There's a few million, but still, man. Listen, outside of the old geezers that happened to run into Stipe at B-dubs one time at Buffalo Wild Wings, no one really knows who he is. That aren't big fans of MMA. That's just the facts, bro. And I'm tired of them acting like it's disrespect. It's not. Stipe at one time was a dog. He had the immigrant mentality. I loved Stipe Miocic's fight style. But even when he was a champ, he was holding up the division and fighting once a year. You have to get on your knees and beg this guy. The UFC had to beg him to step into the cage. He was a bitch to deal with even when he was active. He hasn't fought for three years. He's in his 40s. Okay? He's a part-time fighter. Not even, man. Not even. He ain't even a part-time fighter at this point. He's a full-time firefighter, and God bless Stipe. Seriously. He's an amazing person, man. He's an inspiration. He's a blue-collar, hard-working guy. But as far as a fighter goes, he doesn't love the sport anymore. He's not hungry. And I'm not someone that's going to get excited for a fighter when he's going up against the goat of the sport. When he's not hungry, how are you going to sell that? Other than Stipe's little piece of paper. That's the only thing that he brings to the equation. His accolades, okay? His wins on paper, WDC over DC in the trilogy. W knockout over DC in the, in the second fight. That's the only thing that he brings to the equation. It is nothing but a check on the box for John Jones or John Jones stands, Okay. But I'm just sick and tired of these fans saying that, like, we're just offering unwarranted criticism, that we're going too hard on Stipe. He doesn't fight. 
When people do not fight, they fade out of relevancy. That's just a fact, man. And Pavlovich and Aspinall, these guys are going to throw down. Stipe Miocic turned Tom Aspinall and Sergei Pavlovich down. Okay? John Jones pulled out of an injury. If Stipe pulled out, I do think Jones wouldn't have fought either Aspinall or Pavlovich either because Jones doesn't want to take any risks. He's all about preserving his legacy. That's just how he is at this point. But the fact that Stipe pulled out too, I just don't understand it. Why? He wasn't injured. He was fine. He was ready to go. He hasn't talked about for years how he's afraid to take a loss like John Jones, how he doesn't want to risk anything. He's just holding up the division, man. And and are you really going to get on your feet for an old man Stipe? Yeah, wheel him out. Wheel him out to the cage. I don't care at this point. I don't. I don't. How are you going to sell a guy that just got folded into a lawn chair to take out the go to the sport, man? And the UFC, again, they're, they're trying to make the Jones and Stipe fight for next year. It's going to be like the main event the UFC 300. Unbelievable. I'm thinking UFC 300 should be volkanovsky Taporia co-main event and maybe like a makashev Gagey main event or something like that. And now we're going to have Stipe and Jones? It's just, a, it's just so forced, man. It's too formal. It's like a chore. Really. It really is. It's like, ah, uh, we, we got to sit through Jones's free win. And we have to cope and, and force ourselves to think that Stipe Miocic has a chance when he doesn't have a chance to beat John Jones. I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm tired of Stipe Miocic holding up the division. And I'm just done with these Stipe Miocic fanboys that patronize us for just critiquing him and saying things that are just true. I mean, th these guys are acting like we're childish for saying that nobody cares about Stipe. We don't. Just read the room. He's been, he's been fading out of relevancy for years. He just got knocked out against Francis Ngannou. He was old going into that fight. Damn near 40 years old when he got KO'd by Francis. We're not immature because we don't want to see Stipe fight. We're not immature to say things like this fight between Jones and Stipe felt like a, a, a formal task that we, we were all kind of just reluctantly waiting for and forcing ourselves to get hyped up for because, you know, Stipe has this little piece of paper, the little legacy thing, all right? And we're not going to pretend like that's some big, amazing matchup. It would have been if that fight were made two and a half years ago, if that fight were to happen in 2021, or if that fight were to happen in 2020, would have been a big fight. Not anymore. Aspinall and Pavlovich are just as big as him, name-wise. I guarantee you, there are just as many people that know who Tom Aspinall is right now, and Pavlovich, than Stipe Miocic. Just because Stipe has some more Instagram followers that he's accumulated over the years because he's been in the UFC for much longer, and he's been a bigger name in the UFC for much longer, does not mean that he's as relevant okay again go out on the street ask 50 people if they know who lebron james is i bet all of them are probably going to say yes or at least i would say 45 of them are going to say yes they know who lebron is okay ask those same people if they know who connor is i'd say 30 of them are going to say yeah i know who connor mcgregor is okay ask them who john jones is i bet maybe 15 of them are going to know jones right maybe 10 I think 15 would be a little bit too generous if there's a couple of women in the mix. Probably 10. Now ask them who Stipe is. There's not going to be anyone who knows who he is. That's just a fact. Undisputed fact. And no one's going to know Aspinall. And no one's going to know Pavlovich. Okay? So my whole point is that the Jones-Stipe fight isn't a big fight. It's a free win for Jones. It's free legacy. It looks good on paper. Remember, Stipe brings his little sheet of paper to the mix. That's what it is. He's the accolades guy at this point. You cannot convince me that he's a competitive matchup at this point. He's been inactive for too long. He's old. You have to beg him to get out of the firehouse. And again, God bless Stipe. He's a great guy. Are you kidding me? He's just a good man overall. He's a great guy. But we're not here to talk about great guys, okay? We're not here to talk about, you know, a, a, a guy that you're proud to call your neighbor, okay? We're here to talk about fighters, Okay, we're here to talk about relevancy, all right? We're here to break news. <laughs> and Stipe, I'm sorry, man. He ain't cutting it, man. He ain't getting us hyped. He ain't getting us hyped, bro. It's like watching Nate Diaz versus Dustin Poirier today. You know, that fight would have been awesome if that were made in 2018. 
That fight would have been awesome if it were made in 2018. But now you make Dustin Poirier, who's a little bit older now, versus Nate Diaz, who's just washed. It's just not that great. Okay? It just isn't, man. Dustin's going to beat the fuck out of him. The Steve Amiotic fans, I I I'm sick and tired of the bullshit. I'm sick and tired of the patronizing. Just because someone disagrees with you, just because someone offers some critique, does not mean that they're to be written off like they're a child. That's it. You know? Okay? You guys... You don't need to lionize him so much, okay? You don't need to come to his rescue. Steve Miocic is old news. And don't get me wrong, if he were to fight, I would get excited for it the day of, but there are so many other matchups that I'd rather see. There's so many other fighters that I'd rather watch. At this point, I'd rather watch Big Marcin Tabora go at it with a guy like Muhammad Usman, all right, than watch Steve Miocic in the cage. Of course, I'm joking. I, that, that, that's not true at all, but... I hope you guys enjoy the video. I want to know what you guys think in the comments. What's up, guys? It's Lucas Tracy MMA, and I'm wondering if you're trying to look like Yoel Romero. Well, if you don't have his genetics, that's impossible, but I could at least help you get halfway there with my ultimate lifting program, and if you're a beginner, my novice lifting program. These are programs that I've used my nine years of experience in the gym to make so that you can put on as much muscle as possible in as little amount of time as possible. And it'll also give you a variety of workouts so that you never get tired of the gym. So if you're interested, click the link in my description. And for a discount, use code MMA for 30% off.